Hey good people, welcome back to Balance by Design. Today we're making three ingredient ice cream. Welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. Balance by Design. You do it too much. <laughs> All right, to get started, you need a bowl. I have a large glass bowl here. Some heavy whipping cream. Some sweetened condensed milk. And vanilla. I am using my homemade vanilla extract, okay? All right, to get started, you need to have cold heavy cream, okay? And the ingredients list and measurements will be in the description if you want to follow along or make it later. Okay, so I'm just going to take my hand mixer here and I am going to beat this heavy cream until it becomes pretty stiff. Now, you don't want to do it too long because you'll get butter, okay? So, I think this process takes maybe about two minutes. As you can see here, it is thickening up quite nicely. Once your heavy cream thickens, the process goes really fast, so keep an eye on it because you don't want to end up with butter. At this point, it's nice and fluffy. That's about as thick as you want it to get, okay? Now, to this, we're going to go ahead and add in our sweetened condensed milk. To this, I'm going to add my homemade vanilla extract, and I am using two tablespoons. Um, you can use one to two tablespoons depending on how strong you want your flavor. Okay, I'm just going to take my handheld mixer here again, and I am going to beat these ingredients together until they are well combined. And it's just that simple, guys. This is how you make a quick and easy homemade vanilla ice cream. This is basically it, y'all. This is vanilla ice cream. All you have to do now is freeze it. You can do add-ins. So I'm going to do half vanilla and then I'm going to crush up some Oreos in the other half of this mix. Okay, now you can put it in a plastic container with the lid like I'm doing here. Or you can use something like a loaf pan. I've seen people use that and then they cover it with plastic wrap. I prefer to use this type of container so you choose the kind you want to do. Okay. But that's it. You just spread it around. Make sure it's in there nice and evenly and packed in. Add your lid and it's ready for the freezer. Now, of course, this part is optional. I want cookies and cream ice cream. So I'm going to crush up about 14 Oreos to add into my ice cream mixture. At this point, you can kinda add whatever you want. You can add in peanuts, you can add in chocolate chips, you can add in strawberries. The options are limited. You can actually add in whatever you want to to this basic mix. And I just kind of roughly crush them because I kind of like it chunky. 
So you just pour it into the bowl and of course mix it on together. Once you get the cookies mixed in good, you're gonna go ahead and add this to a container to go into the freezer as well. Of course I had to do a little extra. I took one more cookie <laughs> and crumbled it up on top. Doesn't that look tasty y'all? Okay, these are gonna go into the freezer for four to six hours. And we'll be back to let you know how it tastes. Okay, y'all. So, we only waited four hours. Now, the cream is creaming, okay? It looks so good. Look at that. Now, it's a bit soft. If we would have waited the six hours, of course, it would have been firmer. But we were ready to give it a try. So, here we are. Get a load of that. Doesn't it look delicious, y'all? All right, what do we have here? Homemade vanilla ice cream with just three ingredients. And they are? Heavy cream. Okay. Sweetened condensed milk. All right. And vanilla. All right. It is really good. Smooth. Very nice. I like it. It's very good. All right, you heard it for yourself. He likes it. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Love y'all big. Bye.